Yes, that poor girl froze her ass off in the um, in the lakes of Killarney. I was going to say a lot of these, uh, like Ireland's not known for its super warm temperatures, so I imagine no. a lot of these girls are just kind of. Yeah, that one was uh, that was a night that, that was a that again it was another evening. You I, you probably could see from the little bit of the V that's in the in the off in the background. The, a lot of clouds were rolling in, and um, again the sun was coming through the 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 reeks onto the water and. It was just a, a moment that we thought was going to pass that, you know, we waited there for about 15, 20 minutes and the, the sun finally broke and it came through from the from the west. And um, it it turned I, I it's another image I really do like. I it, it just it's very natural. It's 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 I mean, it's a posed image. But I mean, as I said, it's a natural shot in the water, taking in soaking in that sun and getting that moment again for me, I think is. It's it's just a nice moment that that's the thing I like. I go back and look at these images and I could tell you everything from start to finish, as you just said. You have you have a whole story that goes with all the images that I take. In um, in your experience uh, working with these models, how much of how much of it is them posing? Like uh, I don't know who exactly you work with. Like if, are they experienced posers or do you uh, do you have to give coaching? And if so, kind of how do you how do you approach that? That's another thing that took forever because at the beginning, when you're when you're green to this whole thing, and you ask a friend to kind of get an image to do what you want to do, you know what it's like in your head, but to try to translate that to some people because some people just don't have a photographic mem or photographic minds or things like that, and you have they have to be told what to do, and when you don't know how to tell somebody what you're trying to what you're what you're thinking i mean it is quite difficult i mean it's it, it, an awful lot of it is from trial and error you you go through the motions you you tell the model to do something that you like um that might not necessarily might not necessarily be right but mm -hmm. you tell her to, to pose a specific way that you think works and you go from there but you learn you actually do learn an awful lot from models as well because i worked with a couple of professionals that opened my eyes up to an awful lot of it, um, especially like two or three years in, um, that would sort of say to you, okay, you need, and I would say to them quite candidly say, I need you to tell me what you think works from a model's perspective. And they tell you, okay, yeah, you need to do this and you need to make sure that you keep your, you, you it's all about shadows. It's all about the lighting. It's all about trying to, curve the body to maximize the the beauty of the body put it that way and these are things that you learn and they do i mean it, it all takes time you're not going to just sort of walk out and be a landscape photographer and then tomorrow say you know what i want to just put a model there you can you can place a model in the middle of the lake but you have to get them to actually kind of live in the moment and to make mm -hmm. that moment come alive um and it, it, it that is a very very tedious thing to do mm -hmm. because a lot of the people that you're working with are people on Instagram say, oh, I love your work. Can we do a shoot? You know, how much do you charge? Blah, blah, blah. You go, yeah, no problem. You go out, and next thing, all of a sudden, they're kind of like, okay, what do I do? And you're right. Go, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't need one of these today. But then you have to sort of say, okay, yeah, you need to create your triangles. You need to keep your legs. Don't, don't stand, you know, stand straight, but tilt the head, bring the chin up. You know things that you because you don't want to get double chin you don't want to you you, you want to make sure that the again that the curves are right that as a photographer once told me it's all about triangles putting the yeah. arms on your hips creating that triangle keeping your legs you know one out further than the other and bending your knee on one and keeping the other straight and stuff like that and they're they're all small things that you pick up along the way uh -huh.